Welcome back to my channel. First things first, I apologize for being gone for so long, but it is school. We already know. We already know that I'm trying to graduate this year. We already know that it's a tough ride and I'm in internal medicine, so it's a whole mess. But I'm filming today, so hopefully that suffices as something. And today we're going to be collaborating with Avon to create a makeup look with some of their Avon True products. And I have some natural looking complexion products and some pretty shimmer sticks, so we're going to see what we create. So if you'd like to see the makeup look that I create, then do keep watching. But until the next clip, I love you all and God ever stay blessing you. Mwah. I've decided that I want to keep this video nice and short and sweet. Not too long, we hope. But I'm going to start just by applying some translucent powder to the face. So because this is a makeup look, we're trying to learn something, okay? So this is going to be a whole tip session. So I have skin that decides whether it wants to be oily or dry sometimes. And obviously because right now I'm filming with these really bright lights because I'm filming in the evening, my skin is going to oil up and slick all the way up so I'm just applying some translucent powder with a yellow undertone because that is the undertone of my skin to the face to prep my skin because the complexion products we're going to be using also are not or rather the complexion foundation we're using is a cream to powder foundation so it's not a matte foundation and it's not one of those stay in place lasting foundations so we need to give it the best chance it has to stay on our skin so that's why I'm using a powder first and then we're going to go in with the cream to powder foundation on top. As I mentioned we're going to be using a cream to powder foundation so this is what the compact looks like where you get your foundation in and when you open up the foundation you have your product inside a tray and then you have a mirror and at the bottom of this compact you have a sponge to help you touch up in the middle of the day if you need to so that is the whole compact so with the little experience I have with makeup I've realized that my skin undertone I struggle to match for the most part and it's very difficult to in a range of products that have a limited amount of shades like these cream to powder foundations find a perfect undertone for me so for that reason I'm going to be mixing two and these are the compacts that I'm going to be mixing all the shades I'm going to be mixing on your left we have the color G415 which is nutmeg and on your right we have the color N415 which is walnut so the nutmeg is a little bit more warm a little bit more yellow and walnut is obviously a little bit more red and I feel I feel like if I mix them both together then I'll get a color that probably will suit me a little bit better than me just using the one or the other. So I'm going to be taking this flat um, Avon brush and the Avon foundation brushes I really love. It applies product really nicely. You guys have actually seen me use this brush in other videos because I use it quite often. So I'm just going to tap my brush into the product, swipe onto the face and then mix with the other shade and then buff everything out together on the face. And as you guys can see, the consistency of this product is very dewy as you can see and it isn't going to dry down because this is one of those products that is more for a day at the office where you want your skin to look really a lot like skin and you don't want to have heavy cakey makeup if you want to go on holiday and you just want to have your skin or like a few blemishes covered and have your skin looking flawless this is the kind of product that you'll use on your face it's not for like a heavy beat but it's more for like a soft natural makeup look so that's why the cream to powder formulation doesn't even really dry however because i am using quite bright hot lights and just in general because i do like a more medium to matte finish i'm going to finish it off with an all over face powder just to set the product so that it doesn't move around um once I've put it on. So because my skin isn't extremely blemished, I don't have to add that much product onto my face. So for me, this is enough coverage. However, if you feel like you do want to add more coverage, you can easily build the product. However, I'd suggest that you add the product, set it, and then add more product on top to make sure that it's locked into your skin. I'm just brushing up my brows because I did mess them up and my brows are microbladed. 
so this is what they look like all the time heaven on earth i tell you it's so amazing guys to wake up with brows that look like this all the time i'm very 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 happy with my microblading anyway so now we're going to move on to step two which is obviously the concealer so for concealer i am going to be using which one did i pick the last time this one so this is the avon true and eye brightening illuminator and this is what it looks like so this is obviously a liquid um concealer and it has a doe foot applicator so doe foot applicators or doe feet applicators are quite nice because they are flat at the bottom and this allows you to get into the crevices and the corners right under your eyes so we're just going to be applying this concealer under the eye to brighten up under the eye and the formulation of this concealer is nice because it doesn't dry down very quickly so it gives you some room and some time to let the concealer get tacky and then blend it into your skin which will allow it to give it maximal coverage and it also won't be like stuck to certain patches of your skin because if a concealer dries really quickly the place where it dries first you won't be able to blend it out as opposed to the place where it dries last so at least with a concealer like this you have some time to blend and you have some time to make sure that um, it sits into your skin as well then I'm going to be taking that same brush that I used to blend out my foundation to press the concealer into my skin then again the same with the concealer it doesn't dry down to a perfect matte so you'd also want to set this concealer else it is going to break down and um, move over your face so I'm just going to use a yellow toned um, translucent powder or just a yellow toned powder the same that I used to um, set my face before I apply the foundation just to set my highlighted areas then another tip is if you have smile lines like me then just apply a good amount of powder over where your smile lines usually appear push out the skin and put powder in there and that will help minimize the smile lines what I will be doing with my eyebrows is I'll be taking this Avon True Color um, Winged Out Mascara and I'll be using this to define my eyebrows and then I'll clean them up with some of that concealer. This brush I really like, especially for what I'm doing now because it's got very very fine bristles so it allows you to pick out individual hairs and coat them with the mascara and not just get the mascara smudged all over your brows and as you can see already there's a difference between this eyebrow and that eyebrow in that the mascara brings the brows forward darkens them a bit and makes them look a lot more defined then for eyeshadow i'm going for a bit of a boldish look so i'm going to be dipping into this avon true matte eyeshadow quad so it's just got some um cool toned colors and I'm going to be dipping into the brown and the the medium brown and the dark brown at the bottom of the palette and that's what I'm going to be using to define my crease and just to put all over my eyelid so these compacts are also really cute because they've got um what are these things called mirrors on the inside so you can just use that to um have a look see and see where you're putting your product so I'm just going to blend these two shadows mixed together all over the crease and onto the eyelid. Then I'm going to be taking this glimmer stick and it's in the color um, Twilight Sparkle. So as you guys can see, I swatched the glimmer stick that I'm going to be using, which is this one over here, um, Twilight Sparkle. So it's a beautiful deep blue. And as you can see, it's got glitter flakes in it. So I'm just gonna be applying that all over the eyelid. Then to blend out the edges, I'm going to go back in with the palette that I was using initially and we're going to blend out the edges of um, the eyeliner pen that we just used all over the eyelid. Then we're going to be going in with another um, glimmer stick and this is in the shade Aqua Sparkle and this is a more turquoisey blue. And we're just going to add that to the lower lash line. 
or rather the inner corner. Then I'm gonna smudge some of the powder underneath that on the lower lash line. So these are the Avon True Bronzing Pearls. This is what the pearls look like, just so you can see um, the products on the inside. Because of the color that they have and the shimmer that they have in them as well, they work really nicely as a highlighter. So I'm gonna be using this as my highlighter today. So I'll just be applying it on the high points of the cheeks just to bring some brightness into the area. Then to go ahead and finish the lips, I'm going to be using another one of the glimmer sticks in the color brown sugar. So it's just a brown liner because the um, eye look is so bold, I'm going to be using a nude lipstick. Then I'll be taking this Avon lipstick and it's in the shade Nude Suede. So it's just a pinky nude lipstick and I'm going to be applying that all over the lips. And I also like the effect that the glimmer stick created because there's like glitter specks that are in my lips now because of the glimmer stick which I really really like. So it's like a matte lipstick with some glitter in it. How nice. I really like this. So with that I think we're done. I really like how the makeup look turned out. I didn't expect it to go this way. I didn't expect to go this bold on the eyes. I haven't done color on my eyes in a while but I must say that the glimmer sticks stole the show for me because I think they look so so nice on the eyes. They're very easy to apply. They're versatile because I use them in my inner corner. I use them on my lid. I use them on my lips. So you have a lot of options with the glimmer sticks and in every way that you use them they shine. So I really really love the glimmer sticks. Powder to cream creams the powder foundation i really enjoyed as well it's a good quality product um however i must say that if you do have really oily skin or if um you want a foundation that's going to last for a very extended wear period you'd be luckier trying out the avon liquid foundation because that lasts quite a lot longer as compared to this but however for somebody who just wants minimal coverage just a nice dewy finish this is the perfect product and the lipsticks are also really good i love this color this shade that i use this pinky nude it's a very pretty nude moisturizing on the lips not drying on the lips and they will last a long time if you do set them down with a powder and if you don't mind touching up throughout the day then you can just wear them as is and obviously the avon brushes as i mentioned before with my favorite um, foundation brush being from avon i really really like the brushes the concealer also was pretty good for me so in totality before i keep saying things about individual products i really did like the products overall i do think as an individual you can pick and change or chop and change what you like try out what you think will work for you and all of these products are available on a singular platform you can find all of the avon products on the avon website so you can shop the specific look i'll put the links to all of the different things that i used in this specific video in the description box down below and then you can just go on the website and shop anything else that you're looking for at the moment avon is having a sale so that means you can save some coin and get a few extra products if you go and shop now. So overall, that's pretty much it for me. I love the products. I think they work pretty well. I do think though you must tailor make it to what you prefer and what you like to use. And yeah, there's pros and cons to everything. So just choose what works for you and what doesn't work for you. Try something else out. So I'm done. Let me take some pictures for the greasies and get some sleep. It's actually quite late now and I have a presentation tomorrow so I need to prep for that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Until the next one, I love you all and God ever stay blessing you. Mwah.